Uh, anyway, so we were talking about dark, uh, dark siding and we were talking about bead profiles. Yeah. So the difference between car and motorcycle tires. Again, you have standards that are out there uh, for passenger light truck, uh, commercial truck tires, uh, trailer tires, and motorcycle tires. And those configurations for the wheel as well as the bead package for each uh, segment are defined by the uh, Tire and Rim Association. And to kind of give you an idea here, here's a real good uh, example of a, a motorcycle rim versus a passenger rim here on the bottom. Uh, both are five inches wide. Uh, you'll find that the bead hump on a motorcycle rim is slightly more pronounced. It's also narrower here in the uh, bead seat area, 16 millimeters, whereas the bead uh, seat on a passenger wheel is 21 millimeters. The bead flange as well is higher than that on a motorcycle uh, wheel. So that all being said, when you do marry the two, this is what you get. And top diagram kind of shows the proper fitment of. Let me of get a, this close. Okay. Uh, the motorcycle uh, tire applied to a motorcycle wheel, and you'll see that marriage is pretty damn tight, right? Uh, when you mount a passenger tire on a motorcycle wheel, you're going to find that that marriage is somewhat uh, separated. And the issue that we see. Uh, the insurance industry sees as well one that it's not an approved application but two based on the construction uh, sidewall uh, the bead apex package the whole nine yards that tire has a tendency to slide off the rim right okay. and you know, the, I, I mentioned the insurance companies because uh, four or five years ago, uh, I was fortunate enough to be uh, at a table, had some discussions with some insurance execs, and they were quite surprised that this practice was actually going on. And I believe that uh, they've all caught up. All the major uh, insurance companies have caught up to the fact that this is going on. And if for some unfortunate reason, uh, that bike that has a passenger uh, car tire on it uh, is involved in an accident or a drop, uh, more than likely that claim is going to be denied. I got you. Yeah. So, I mean, it truly is when, you, when you're looking at the, the bead that's on the inside of the rim and the rim profile itself, it's, it's designed for redundancy. Correct. Right? Exactly. So, so that you're ensuring the bead is locked when it experiences forces from several angles, not just this, the lean and this. But also pull, trying, that tire is constantly trying to pull away from the rim, whether it's going in forward motion or side to side, right? right? Well, and I, I guess it, it's, as far as the, the myth about the conspiracy just to get more money, there's no question when I'm looking at the two, there's two to three times more material in that than there is in this absolutely no question i think one of the big concerns too is is and i think we've all kind of experienced maybe a flat on our uh, on our car or light truck you will find that when that tire goes down it's going to really start to wobble right right because of its flexibility on the sides right i can't tell you how many times consumers have come up to me and said phil thank god i had your tires on my motorcycle and i said why is that and they'll show me pictures. They had one guy down in Florida bring in a tire that literally had a uh, anchor bolt in the sidewall of the tire. He goes, it performed fantastic for me to get to the shoulder of the you know, uh, highway. And that's, again, in the way that the tires are built, two different processes all together. Sure. Right? All right, so I, I guess what I, I come down to with it, again, we're, we're all about the facts. We're not about opinion. The fact of the deal is there are considerable differences between car tires and motorcycle tires. You have either more belts, more plies. The bead profile is completely different. One is designed to mate to the other. And while that tire is round, may hold air, I've actually never ridden a bike with a car tire on it. I refuse to. 
but um, I guess what I wonder is if it's such a great, acceptable, and wonderful thing to do, why don't they put them on the front? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> because I think handling has a... Yeah, a handling, uh, finding the right wheels. Uh, generally speaking, you know, you're not going to yeah. find a tire that's, that, that's going to fit on a three, three and a half inch wheel, right? Unless that right. thing's pinched in there like that, right? Yeah. Um, but... Uh, so the, the fact remains is one is not obviously not designed for the other. Right. Um, and if if somebody chooses to do it, that's of their own that's of their own thing. But just be aware and understand that uh, if they have an accident, God forbid, and something happened, insurance companies are aware of the, that people are doing this, and yeah, it could be a bad thing. Yeah, it's uh, again, it's something that we kind of cringe upon. And I've had multiple conversations uh, with dark siders, and as I said in the opening, I've never won one. Right? I get right. frustrated. I get aggravated because, uh, you know, and, and not to make a joke, but uh, I, I take the job pretty serious, and and I'll say at times, hey, I just might save a, a life today. Right? Right. right? Just based on the educational process, tires being very complex. People, for the most part, abusing them. Seventy percent of them, to some degree. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I, you know, I, I've, I've, I know people that have said they've done it successfully, had no issues, but there have also been people that uh, survived to jump out of an airplane and the parachute didn't open. But that doesn't mean I'm going to jump out of an airplane without a parachute strapped to my back. Exactly. Right? Um, so excellent well i think that uh that covers the facts told us a little bit about dunlop tires is there anything you would like to add no i just do really appreciate you getting me out of the house i got to shave this morning first time in about five weeks so i'm looking pretty uh pretty dapper i think yeah hey, uh, you do look pretty yeah. dapper wife gave me a dapper. haircut uh first time she's ever broken out the shears and uh yeah I'm yeah. glad to be here. Well, you clean, up, you clean up all right. Now you can buy me lunch at least. <laughs> Guys, thank you very, very much for tuning in. While I'm doing my little closing here, I'm going to give somebody, uh, a, you know, give you guys a second. We've got somebody tuning in from Saudi Arabia, uh, several different countries. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for jumping in and watching with us. Again, please be sure to subscribe and hit that reminder bell uh, because here soon we will be reviewing uh, some products from fueling. I'm going to tell you all about fueling products. We're going to talk about M8, cam plates, oil pumps, uh, the crankcase breathing issue. We're going to talk about vented dipsticks, things like that. Then we're going to jump into Custom Dynamics, talk about safety lighting and all the products from Custom Dynamics. We're going to talk about suspension, brakes, and of course, we're going to continue the project with a 302 inline 6 GMC. So guys, again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and each other. Stay safe out there. Take care.